Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are planning out my 2023 bullet journal. How crazy is it that it's already a new year? To start off with, I used a sticker from my good old sticker book and decorated my front page, which says Elisa's Content Blue Show. Now I found my other sticker book and decided to decorate the front cover. I just got out a really inspiring quote from Monet who is one of my favourite painters and artists of all time and I decided to decorate the edges with some stickers. I think it's just a really simple and easy way to jazz up your title pages. Now we are officially progressing onto the main title page. This will require a little bit more arts and craft and I decided to do a kind of universe and galaxy themed. So what I'm going to do now is on a spare piece of paper, use some watercolour and blot out some colours of blue and red to make that purple and pink hue. Whilst I let it dry organically, I'm going to take out some pre-prepared decorating book paper and cut it into shapes of clouds. I'm going to make the background kind of like the universe globe with a galaxy theme and then some clouds of words hopping onto it. I think that'll be really cute and later on you'll see me cutting up some blocks saying 2023. So it'll be kind of a scrapbook vibe this year. I used the beige parchment paper and I just used a really thick dark permanent marker to write out 2023. It felt a little bit bland so I later went in with a silver permanent marker on the inside to make it look like it was glowing and I liked it a lot more. It was a lot of impact and looked really really pretty. Whilst we wait for that to dry, I really like to be efficient with my time so I pulled out my bullet journal onto the very last page and I decided to do a bleed test. This is what I like to do with all my new bullet journals just to see how different pens, watercolors, highlighters react, how much it bleeds through. So I have an idea of the thickness I want each paper to be if I want to add any extra layers, things like that and the different combinations. As you can see, this bullet journal is a little bit on the thinner side with each of the papers so it easily bled through. But I don't think it's a huge matter for me this year because I didn't want it to be too art based. Just wanted it to mainly kind of be scrapbooks, different papers glued onto each other. Now I'm moving back to my title page. My watercolor circle from earlier definitely dried up so I just got a circle object and placed it on top of her and then traced it, cut it out so everything is ready to be stuck down onto my title page. I'm very happy with how it turned out, definitely looked like a globe. You can see here I'm just kind of setting it out to see how everything would look and later on I pulled out a very snazzy tool that I recently got. It is glue tape. So it's essentially like white out except for it comes out with glue and it just makes everything so much easier. It dries down immediately. It's double sided tape. So much better and more convenient than just like a normal traditional glue stick. And I really like the fact how it's really precise as well. I bought mine from Daiso, so you can take a look there as well. Pretty affordable, I would say. Moving on to the next page, we are finally starting some of my spreads. And for this double page, I am going to do a year at a glance. I found this really nice, my 2021 bullet journal, so check that out. So essentially, I just wrote out each month of the year so the calendar dates and all that jazz and as something a little bit more special i also decided to do kind of a seasons recap at the bottom you can see i left quite a bit of space there so whatever happened in each season summer winter all those things some pictures and almost like a vision board as a recount so i think that'll be really really cute i haven't quite decided if i want to put the most important dates on my calendar yet so I'll have to wait until January when I make up my mind. But yeah, I really like the beige and simplistic look of everything and I am so excited for the new year ahead. Moving on to the next double spread page, I am going to do my New Year's resolutions page and my letter to my future self. I always love doing these at the start of the year. I feel like it really gets me excited for the year ahead and I decided to paste another page in for my New Year's resolution as well as cut out some of these really aesthetic color boards that I got from the internet. They're pretty cheap, they're really nice and cute and just stuck it on. Really love how it looked. It looked a little bit empty so I also grabbed the same beige parchment cardboard and wrote down new resolutions and stuck it on that page. To match the words and book vibes of my new year's resolutions, I decided to use the same collage 
book paper and stuck it all over the next page and what this is going to do is act as the background for my letter to my future self and I just really like how it looks so ancient it just looks really cute in my opinion and later on you can see that I got a spare piece of black cardboard and wrote down letter to my future self in a silver and gold permanent marker to make it really pop against the black and I am then going to take one of these spare Muji grid paper sheets and write my actual letter on that. I haven't decided the length yet so I am not going to paste it in right now but I'll write it up and then stick it onto it. And this is a part you guys can really customize yourself and choose do you want grid paper, line paper or that jazz. Also you can see here I am using my very fancy Ted Baker pen. I just think it looks so snazzy. I'm definitely writing my letter in this. This is probably the most expensive piece of stationery I have so Guys, treat yourself, use your expensive stationery. On my next double spread page, I decided to do a to watch and to read list. This year I discovered so many wonderful TV shows and movies and I think right from the get go, let me just put down everything I want to watch so whenever I am procrastinating, at least I have something to procrastinate for, right? And for to watch list, I did this kind of film aesthetic and the to read list on a shelf. I really like how it turned out and I'm just going to keep it simple, just dot points, etc. I didn't want it to make it too overly artsy. And honestly, great way to organize yourself. Moving on, I'm going to do a year in pixels page, which essentially is a mood tracker before the entire year. I think this is the most efficient way because I found that this year while I was doing my monthly spreads, it was just too much of a hassle to keep up with it every single month and I wasn't consistent. So I think just right from the get go, get it ready and it will all be good. And also, doesn't this just remind everyone of that meme when it's like January, February, March, April, Jason the ruler? Anyway, that's me getting sidetracked and I also have my 2023 wish list, so everything I want to buy and that way it really grounds my budget so I don't go crazy. We are now progressing onto the final double spread page on my bullet journal setup for the year and that is my retail therapy budget. Yes, I need a budget and a tracker for how much I spend. So last year I did this as well so you can check it out but this year I'm going to make it a little bit stricter and more all-encompassing. So I want to dedicate only $600 for my retail therapy sessions and essentially every time I have an empty that accounts for $10. Every time I hit pan on a product that's another $5 added so it's more like the more you use the more you can spend. And that's it for my bullet journal setup for 2023. that is it for today's video we have finally gone through my 2023 initial setup for my bullet journal this is more like an overall type of setup for my entire year that's why it's more broad and not as specific as my monthly spreads which i will be posting soon i'm trying to get good with posting and the monthly spreads will have a lot more trackers and diary situations so make sure to follow for that but i think these are really fun too and definitely great ideas for your own bullet journal at least these are some of my favorite types of spreads to have at the start of the year and i hope it gives you guys some inspiration for your own journals i try to keep it more minimalistic and more towards you know like i said scrapbooking so that's that for today and all the best for your own journals have a wonderful year and i'll see you guys for the next video bye